25-yard field goal try now for Brendan Gibbons. Wind in his face, and it is a stiff breeze this afternoon. Gibbons from 25, and the kick is good. So Michigan on the board first. So here's Jeff Budzine, who's made his last eight field goal attempts. One of the best kickers in the conference. And the try for Budzine with the wind at his back is good. And we're tied at three, 2.47 to play in the first quarter. Each offense moving the ball down the field. But Jake Ryan, and they're thrilled to have him back out there. Budzine trying to set the single season mark for field goals in a season at Northwestern. The 22-yard attempt is good, and Northwestern at the half takes a 6-3 lead over the Michigan Wolverines trying to snap that five-game losing skid. Field goal try of 30 yards for Jeff Budzine. And the kick by Budzine is good. So now a 9-3 lead as Northwestern drives down the field. First down, play action, Gardner in some trouble, and Gardner is sacked! Tyler Scott, his sixth sack of the year! I don't want to say I told you so, but I told you so. I, you, you know what's working right now is running that tailback and those, you know, those quick three plays, but what? But watch it right here. You're going to see him come right in here. He beats the offensive line. It's a play-action pass. It takes longer. Big play by Northwestern defense. Try to throw the outlet and then under a little pressure. This might be the biggest play of the game right here thus far. Speaking of under a little pressure, Brandon Williams is going to have to punt from his own end zone, and he will shake it. A terrible punt. Takes a Michigan roll, and it goes out of bounds just shy of the 10-yard line. A seven-yard punt for Brandon Williams. Well, I said it might be the biggest play of the game, but I didn't have any realize that the ball would end up there because of a shank punt. It might have been because of a return by Michigan, but it's a good snap. No pressure on him. None. He went with the return. Oh my goodness, the worst possible time if you're a Northwestern fan for that. And now hang if it doesn't. Fourth down and two. Play action. Gardner on the scramble. Gardner not going to get there. Aragusa closed the door. And Northwestern takes over on downs. You like defense, you love this game, and I'll tell you, I don't know if I've ever seen Northwestern play better defense. Look at him play and watch him come make a play. Look at Araguza. He gets in there, he makes a good play, and he's got help from the rest of the guys coming. You think Coach Fitz like that? You bet. What a lift for his team. And Brady Hoke on the other side. Cannot believe it. A gamble, and the gamble does not pay off. And Michigan, instead of fourth down, they've got to hurry. Here comes the field goal unit on. One second. Did they get the snap off? They did. The kick is on its way. It is good. 44 yards, and Michigan ties it with no time remaining. hits the field goal, Dilio with the slide as the holder to get the ball down in time. Gardner for the end zone, and what a catch by the tight end, Jake Butt, and Michigan with the first touchdown of the day. Harder pass is complete to Jake Butt. Score Michigan 15, Northwestern 9. Coulter on the quarterback sneak, and he's in for the touchdown, and Northwestern an extra point from tying it up. Or as Bill Levine would say, we're an extra point from going to inning two. <laughs> 
score a touchdown all day, you go to overtime, and Michigan scores one, and Northwestern <laughs> scores one, and for time. And the kick by Gibbons is good, and we play on into the rainy night here in the Chicago area, tied at 19 apiece. Now the rules change a little. Option, Gardner, the keep, Gardner, touchdown, Michigan! And the two-point try for Michigan. And Gardner on the draw. Gardner trying to get to the corner. He's got the two and an eight-point Michigan lead. Three for Northwestern. Simeon looking deep. And the pass is intercepted by Gordon in the end zone. Michigan wins it in triple overtime.